Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome to a pretty random Thursday. As you may know if you watch my channel from time to time, sometimes I make videos which I just call Random Thought Thursday and this doesn't quite qualify because it's a little bit more specific and I'm not sure that there's kind of a chain of thoughts that I'm constrained together about this. But I wanted to talk about this because, you know, it's one of these things that's been kind of been on my mind for the last month or so. So about a month ago, I read and reviewed Cormac McCarthy's new novel, The Passenger, and my review was was pretty negative. Um, you know, and in that review, I, I pointed out that I'm not an anti-Cormac McCarthy. I'm not a Cormac McCarthy hater, as a matter of fact. Some of his books I quite like, and, you know, at least one of his books I consider to be a real uh, masterpiece, and, you know, a masterpiece of American literature, Blood Meridian. And there are a number of his books that I do like, but that saying all that, I, I didn't particularly care for or didn't think that The Passenger, his, you know, new novel, uh, really worked. Uh, and that, I think, puts me in the minority of opinion. Uh, I've checked around and looked at reviews. I think most reviewers thought it was good to great to, you know, okay. Uh, very few reviewers uh, panned it or as negative or as negative about it as I was. And certainly in the comments field in my own video, I think the weight of opinion there uh, is that I'm wrong and other reviewers are right, which I'm, I'm perfectly willing to accept that, you know, my opinion is the minority opinion about the book. But a lot of the comments about The Passenger that I got in my video uh, were essentially some of the effect of either A, the ideas in the book went over my head, possible, or B, that the ideas that were contained in the book really resonated with people and really kind of fascinated people and people found those to be interesting. Uh, which, you know, I, I didn't think the ideas were that interesting and it's possible the connection between, you know, nihilism and life and death and God and quantum mechanics uh, that are discussed <clears throat> at length by various characters in long, drawn-out conversations, oftentimes over dinner or drinks. It's often, it's possible that, you know, I just didn't make all those connections, or as I know it's probable, didn't feel like the, those con the connections between those things were interesting enough for me to, to, to spend a lot of time thinking about them and thinking my way through, which, you know, possibly means that I, you know, didn't do the mental work necessary uh, to truly appreciate the pasture for all that it is. But, the one thing I would say that my review focuses on, and I'm going to try to do this without being defensive or offensive to others, the one thing I would say that my review focuses on is the quality of the book as a book. Not as a book of ideas, not of a book as a book of philosophy, but does it work as a novel? And, you know, not to go back through my whole review, but to me it doesn't. The plot is implausible. The characters uh, are either archetypal or they're too thin or they're too thinly drawn, or we only, you know, we don't really learn very much about them, and they aren't fully developed, and, you know, they're just kind of too many typical Cormac McCarthy things in there that, that don't necessarily work for me and hold the novel together as a novel. Uh, so, you know, I think my main criticism is that, that the book doesn't work as a novel. Not that the book doesn't work as a book of ideas. You know, this is a book of which Cormac McCarthy expressed his theories about quantum mechanics and God and life and death, you know, and that's all it was. And it wasn't marketed as a novel if it didn't, you know, at least attempt to string together some kind of plot and to create some kind of characters, then I'd be happy to let it to let it go with that. But but it really doesn't. And this kind of then brought up a question for me uh, about books uh, and the things that different people value in books. So part of my question is, uh, or part of what I'm wondering is, is do some people come such fans of an author that they give that author the benefit of the doubt when certain things in their books don't work. Um, for instance, you know, it's possible that I'm too forgiving of Toni Morrison for, you know, the difficulty and the, um, the, the obscurity and the strangeness of uh, her book Paradise that it's possible that, you know, I think that's a great work even though I don't fully understand it because it's Toni Morrison and I just love Toni Morrison's books. Maybe people are people do that with Corm McCarthy to a greater extent than I do. I mean, there, there are clearly some things about this novel which I think might kind of inspire that fan reaction. Uh, first, this is the first novel McCarthy's published since The Road. You know, technically No Country for Old Men, which started off as a screenplay, then was published as a novel and then became a movie. Uh, technically, No Country for Old Men came out a little bit uh, before, I think the year before, 
uh, the road, but they're really close together. But either way, it's been 16 or 17 years since McCarthy published a book. And if you're a real fan, as many people are, of Cormac McCarthy, that's a long time to wait. And if you've been waiting all this time and you've been hearing uh, about the rumor of this novel and you've been waiting for it to come out, I think there is a natural predisposition for people who feel strongly about Cormac McCarthy, for people for whom McCarthy is their favorite author, to go into the book you know, with the idea that this is great because McCarthy's written a number book and it's been so long and I love Cormac McCarthy. And perhaps that influences, and I, I guess it's my opinion, that influences their ability to assess the novel as a novel. They're, they're so happy there's a new Cormac McCarthy novel that they're willing to rate it higher to... Uh, give it more credit than, you know, maybe I think uh, that it deserves. And, of course, this is me, you know, uh, coming off as being somewhat superior to those people. And I don't mean to, because it's possible that I had the exact opposite reaction. It's possible that over the time between The Road and No Country for Old Men and waiting for a new Cormac McCarthy novel, that I've developed negative opinions about Cormac McCarthy, which then I bring to my evaluation of McCarthy uh, and, and of The Passenger uh, specifically. So... You know, that, that I think, is part of it. But it also, my questions around Cormac McCarthy in the past year are, do the people who are really blown away by the past year, is what they're looking for in novels, great, big, philosophical, deep ideas, things they can puzzle over, things they can ponder over, things that will force them to go back and reread? Are they reading along and go, oh my God, this is an earth-shattering idea. That makes this novel great. You know, uh, I can't say that I have not done that myself in the past, so I'm wondering if that's true with uh, The Passenger as well, and that because that's what they look for in a novel, that they're overlooking what I think are some fairly obvious shortcomings in the novel as a novel, that the ideas themselves are what they're looking for and propel them to believe that the novel uh, is great. Uh, whereas for me, I was looking at it as a novel. How does it work as a piece of fiction? Not how does it work as a book of ideas? You know, part of the problem that I have, and I'll just say this out again, and I, I said it in the review. Part of the problem with, that I have with The Passenger is I think it clearly is something McCarthy patched together. Uh, that he started writing this novel about Bobby Western way back in the 1980s. And then when he started writing it, that was before he, you know, moved to Santa Fe and started hanging out with the physicists at the Santa Fe Institute and got really involved and immersed in the scientific world. And I think you can see that what he does is he shoehorns that science and his new, newly, relatively newly acquired scientific knowledge into this book that he'd been working on and hadn't been able to bring to a conclusion for a really long period of time. To me, that shows to me, that is a detriment to the novel, that he, that he essentially abandons plot in favor of, of going over these ideas that he has about physics or whatever it is. And then he adds to that this connection that he sees between physics, perhaps, and God and life and death and, anyway, different states of reality, perhaps, that, that to me, it feels really patched together. And, and I, I, really, I really think it is a, a negative to look at the book and, and to realize that, you know, he wrote the plot out, he created the character Bobby Western and uh, his sister uh, Alice a long time ago, and then, in between then and now, he's had all these deep thoughts about science and God and whatever else they decided uh, to put in the novel. So, you know, it's not that I'm opposed to novels that are contain big ideas. I like them, but I like that big idea to be something that's revealed through plot and character and pacing etc. And what we get, I think, in not to again go back on my review, what we get uh, oftentimes in the pastor is just characters sitting down with Bobby Western and telling him what they think. And it's hard for me not to see that that's just McCarthy using these characters to put his own ideas out there. Uh, the characters aren't really characters, they're just stand-ins for McCarthy espousing, you know, ideas or beliefs or thoughts that he's had at various points in time. And that's not something that I find to be particularly interesting if we're talking about a novel. And I have a feeling that those people who have reviewed the book more positively, that is something that to them makes the book uh, better, makes for 
a great book. I, I really think there is just kind of a difference of opinion there. There are all kinds of things that different people like in, in a book. Some people look for characterization. Some people care about plot. Some people pay attention to the beauty of the writing. And by the way, there is some beautiful writing uh, in the pastures. I think Cormac McCarthy is more than capable or oftentimes produces. Or is it just the big ideas? Uh, and I really think that McCarthy's novel, The Pasture, in some ways, has kind of made me reassess how important big ideas are uh, to my appreciation of a work of literature or a book. I told you these thoughts were random. They might not necessarily be all that coherent, uh, but those, those are my thoughts. Now, to hear a counter, counter points of view uh, about The Pasture, I will refer you to three reviewers uh, who reviewed The Pasture much more positively, and all three really focused on the ideas of the book more than they focused on the plot or structure. One, a uh, channel that did review is called Theater Zoo, I believe. I'll leave a link down below. Then Cliff at Better Than Food uh, did a review, uh, a really long review of The Pasture, uh, in which he, he really liked it, and he talks a lot about the ideas. I'll leave a link to his down below, too. And then a really large channel, which I watch every once in a while, uh, which is essentially the, the creator's name, I believe, Benjamin McAvoy, also did a short uh, review of The Pasture, in, in which he talked about how uh, the big ideas in the novel were, you know, really important to him. He really, really, really thought it made for a great novel. I'll leave a link to all three of those down below. So, you know, as well as a link in the end notes here, in the end papers here, where you can go to my review and see what I had to say. Because I'm kind of interested to see, even if you haven't read The Pasture, what do you think about this idea of, you know, a novel versus a novel of ideas, uh, or a novel versus a book of ideas, and how well those are blended together, and how well the blend, ma how much the blend matters to you versus the ideas or whatever. Anyway, random thoughts, really random discussion. I'm not sure it made sense. Look forward to your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, thank you for watching.